morning, ladies, gentlemen, boys and girls. Today, we are going to Brighton. So this is the Devil's Dyke. This place is in South Downs. The reason why it's called the Devil's Dyke, I will touch on a little bit later. But for now, all you need to know is this is one of the most picturesque places in the whole of the South Downs. That's what people say, and I can understand why. It's truly stunning. You can see for absolutely miles, and on a really clear day, they say that just over this way here, you can see the Isle of Wight. But today you can't see it. But is really nice. Also, when it's really windy here, apparently you get loads of hang gliders just flying off the edge of this thing, which I can imagine would look absolutely amazing. I'm a little bit sad that it's not happening today because, well, it would have been amazing to get on camera, but I'm not complaining because this place is remarkable. Off to the next place. Okay, I'm now at the beach. Look at this thing, this is the the British Airways i360, that's like, you can go up there. I don't know whether you have to pay for it, or, I assume you do, because it's at the bottom at the moment and it looks, looks expensive. So I won't be going up there today, but what I am here to see is West Pier, which I can see that way. West Pier is, a, is the old pier that is no more. And I'll show you it in a sec. So this pier was built in the, 19, in the 1860s um, and unusually, unusually for a pier, this was built for amusement um, instead of like a ship landing pier basically, which was unusual for its time, which made this really stand out. But as you can see, it is no longer usable. It's just relics now. And that was caused by just neglect and fires really. But it's cool that you can still come here and see it. It's almost majestic. Yes, I'm having a beer. 10.50 a.m. Don't judge me, I'm at the seaside. I'm now heading in towards Brighton Palace Pier. It's like a whole theme park looking thing. I don't know how much it's going to cost. I'll let you know that in a minute, but yeah, it looks pretty exciting. I reckon it's going to cost me a couple of bobs, but I think it's going to be worth it. That just won me 13 tickets on a 2P machine basically rich now, so I may as well go home. I've won the lottery. Take it back, I put one pound in the 2p machine and that's all the money I spent. So this is actually free, this pier. I guess you just pay for each of the rides. Um, it looks like good fun. I can't do rides, I throw up. 
works. I am a whip. It looks as though I've stumbled across a car and like a bike show, hence all the bikes. Um, and it appears that there is a drag trip going on down there. So hopefully we can get some cars doing fast things. walking along the lanes it's just basically loads of alleyways full of shops it reminds me a bit of a souk in morocco but obviously an english version it's quirky i like it so the lanes the lanes are cool and they are quirky, and I do like them. But, you ever hate it when people just stop in front of you? And then you have to stop and it's awkward and you have to go round them, but someone else is coming round that way. I think because they're so narrow, that's gonna happen quite a lot. It's cool, but only for a short period of time. I wouldn't wanna spend any more than three minutes max, and then I'm out. But it's a good, yeah. If you are a stubborn, lazy person like me, top tip, when you walk on a stony beach, take your shoes off and take the pain because when you do it like that, it means that you only walk on the stones whilst you're on the beach. People like me, if you're wearing trainers or shoes, you get stones in your shoes, bear with. You get loads of stones in your shoes and then you end up feeling like you've been walking on the beach, on a stony beach, the whole time. So take your shoes off and just take the pain whilst you're on the beach so that the rest of the walk is bliss. When you come to Brighton, just be prepared that parking is going to cost you quite a lot of money. I've just been parked for no more than three hours, less than three hours, and that costs 10 pounds, so it's quite expensive, but it is summertime. Well, the summer is over, but today is incredible for weather, so it's summertime, and it's peak season, so I don't know whether they put the prices up or not, um, but 10 pounds, three hours, I kind of expected it. Look at this, what a view. Oh. oh, I love doing vlogs like this because it makes me feel like I'm on holiday, even if it is just for a couple of hours. See, this country can be beautiful, just not when it's raining. Okay, we are at our next stop, which is called the Gold Stone. Now this may just look like a normal stone. However, the myth has it that Satan himself carved this valley with his foot, with the intention of drowning out all of the people in the village just over that valley there. Satan was carving the trench with his foot when suddenly he struck this big stone, injuring his foot, which meant that he could no longer continue. He then kicked the stone as hard as he could and it landed in a place that they now call Goldstone Valley. People say that because of this, this rock is like, like a hero and a savior. So what happened was it then became a bit of a, a tourist attraction and people would come to see it from all over the place. After a long time of people visiting um, the stone, the owner of which the stone lay um, 
got really annoyed with people coming and looking and ruining his crops, so he got two of his workers to bury it. And there it stayed for a long time. Of course, after a while, people started to wonder where this stone had got, and eventually the, the council or the government or somebody ordered that the stone was then unearthed. So they found the two workers that buried the stone in the first place, found the location of where it was buried, they undug it, or they dug it up, um, and then they transported it over to where it continues to lay. So the reason why the valley is called the Devil's Dyke is because Satan, the devil, made it and was stopped because of this. So that, that right there, that is the Goldstone. And that's the reason why it's called the Goldstone and that's the reason why the Devil's Dyke is called the Devil's Dyke. I think that's gonna be it for Brighton. So, thanks for watching. Like if you did, subscribe if you haven't, and I'll see you in the next one.